In this video, I'm going to look at downloading a 90-day Windows 10 Enterprise Virtual Machine and loading it within VMware Workstation Player. So for this, you'll need VMware Workstation Player and you'll need to download the VMware Virtual Machines on the Microsoft website. Note you also need the VM's password and it's password with an exclamation mark, a capital P and a zero instead of an O. So the point of these virtual machines isn't to have a permanent virtual machine, it's for software testing for a period of 90 days. And obviously after 90 days have they expired, you can just download the virtual machine again and create another one and continue a new software test. So the first thing we'll need to do is extract the zip file. So either right click the zip file and select extract all or if you've got 7-zip installed, select 7-zip and then extract to dot 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 and this will give you the extracted folder. Now in order to use it we need to install VMware Workstation Player. So let's go ahead and install this. So the installation is rather straightforward. Just select next, accept the license agreement, select next select next, select next, I'm going to uncheck desktop, select next and then select install. And then when the installation is done you can select finish. And now what we're going to do is just copy the virtual machine to a virtual machines folder within documents. So let's just create a new folder called virtual machine and we'll just copy the extracted folder across and now we just want to open this the second file, the OVF file and it'll open up within VMware so we'll just rename the virtual machine Windows 10 64-bit and then select import so it will take a while to import this. And as soon as it does import this, it will download VMware tools. So accept the user account control prompt. And you're going to now log into the virtual machine. So you need to use the password supplied. So this is password with an exclamation mark, a capital P and a zero instead of an O. So you have a note on the virtual machine's desktop that is basically a test version and you've got 90 days to test it. So at the bottom right, it tells you the Windows license is valid for 90 days. So VMware tool should automatically be installed, so you should just be able to resize the virtual machine and use it. Now of course if you go to settings and then updates, you're going to probably have a ton of updates to install. Okay, so I'm going to allow it to download some of the updates. And then I'm going to restart it. So after the first restart, it's going to configure VMware tools, even though the virtual machine already has these installed. Okay, so we'll need to log in again using the password and VMware tools will configure. You'll need to reboot once VMware Tools has configured. Log in with the default password again and then we can check Windows Update. So once again it's got several updates to install. OK, 
Okay, so I can go ahead with the restart. Log in once again, check for updates again. And once again, once these updates have been installed, we'll need to restart the computer. Okay, so once again, we'll just need to log in. And if we check Windows Update, we should see that Windows is up to date. Now for some reason, this 90 day enterprise evaluation trial is version 1809 and not version 1909. So although it's up to date, it's an older build of Windows 10. So we can shut it down and we can just open up VMware Workstation Player and we can launch a virtual machine from here. We can also have a look at its settings. Now the default settings are okay. However, we may want to accelerate the 3D graphics and up the default graphics memory uh, to one gigabyte. So I can select okay and then we can just press the play button to launch the virtual machine. Now one thing I want to note about this virtual machine is that it's the Enterprise version 1809 English US virtual machine. And this means that everything's installed using English US settings. So we can go to settings and then time and language and just update to English United Kingdom and we can update to, to the correct time zone. To the right, we can select date, time and regional settings and change from United States to United Kingdom. So now the settings should be acceptable for English United Kingdom. If you want to be a bit pedantic, it's still an English US install, just with English UK settings applied. So, what do I mean by this? Just when you right click the start button, it's going to use English US spelling. So personalize is going to be spelt with the Z instead of the S. But it's very subtle changes and for software testing, it's fine.